Are you frustrated with the Paco 1.VPK error in Dota 2, causing your game to crash unexpectedly? Well, fret not. In this comprehensive guide, we'll walk you through a series of troubleshooting steps to help you get back into the game. Let's dive right in. Let's start with the basics. Sometimes, this error can be related to your system's memory. First, try changing the slots for your RAM sticks or replacing them if possible. You can also check your memory bars to ensure they're functioning correctly. Two. BIOS update, outdated or faulty BIOS can also contribute to this issue. Let's address that next. Consider updating your BIOS to the latest version. Check out resources like Tom's Hardware for a step-by-step -step guide on how to do this. If you're still having trouble, you might need to reset your BIOS to the factory settings. Keep in mind that this will require reinstalling your operating system and drivers. 3. Reinstall Windows and install DX11. If the previous steps haven't worked, it's time to try a more radical approach. Uninstall Windows and perform a clean installation. Ensure that all drives are formatted during this process. Then manually install DirectX 11 from external sources. 4. Start Dota through. EXE, here's a simple workaround that can sometimes bypass the problem. Locate the Dota 2 executable file from following address and start the game directly from there. 5. Check and change the disk. If all else fails, it might be time to look at your storage solution. Uninstall Dota 2 and reinstall it on a different disk. Consider installing Dota 2 on a new SSD with the latest firmware and updates. Before starting the game on a different drive, make sure to verify the integrity of Dota 2 game files in Steam. 6. Combine Method Narrator Still struggling? Let's try a combined approach for a final solution. Delete the files of the Military Industrial Complex, explain the significance for Dota 2 players. Check all game files for inconsistencies. Insert DX11 into launch parameters for Dota 2. Reinstall Microsoft C++. Sometimes, it's not just about the game or software. Hardware issues can play a role too. Go to Windows Memory Checker, and perform a reboot and memory check. If you encounter issues during the hardware check, consult an expert or search for solutions online. By following these steps, you'll be well on your way to smoother and crash-free gaming experiences.